today class let's have our last operation it's symmetric difference so let me write it first operation of set and we have the symmetric difference the notation for symmetric difference is this it's like a circle in a cross inside and it is defined x such that x is an element of a union b and x is an element not an element in a intersection b in other words this is the set consisting of all elements that belong to A. So, it's belong to A or to B, but, so take note, but not to both A and B. So, it's, it belongs to A or B, but not both. So, what does it mean? So, let's have an example to further understand. Let's have one, two, three, four, five, six. And our A is 1, 2, 3, 4. And B is, let's have 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, what is the symmetric difference of A and B? Okay, who would like to guess? Okay, that's correct. The answer is 1, 2, 5, 6. And this is the explanation. It should you should cancel all the common because not both a and b so these are elements the answer must be elements that are not in both a and b but in a or b what does it mean so we're going to cancel three four this one and what is left is one two five six okay so in symmetric difference you're going to Write the elements that are not common to both. Okay, so not common to both. So that is symmetric difference. Somehow it is the opposite of intersection. Because in the intersection, you're going to answer the common. You have two sets and you will answer the common. But in this um, symmetric difference, you are going to answer the elements that are not common to both sets. So the answer is 1, 2, 5, 6. We cancel 3 and 4. Let's have a Venn diagram to understand it better. Generally, you have the universal set. You have the set A and the set B. Okay. And then we're going to shade is only this part we are not gonna include the intersection again the symmetric difference the answer are not the elements that are not common now in connection to our given let's have another okay, venn diagram okay so you have the universal set you have the a so this is our a and this is our B. Okay. And let's write all the elements. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4 is here. And 5, 6. Okay. Now let's try to shade. So this is our answer. Okay, so that is symmetric difference. 3, 4 is not included. The answer is 1, 2, 5, 6. So that is symmetric difference. And it is elaborated through our Venn diagram. Now, let's try to discuss this definition. Okay, so let me rewrite it first. X such that X is an element... So that you will understand this not an element of okay now 
this is the first proposition and this is the second proposition we have this in the earlier discussion so let's have this x is an element of a what is the symbol very good union b that is our first proposition and x is not an element of a this symbol very good intersection and the combination x is an element of the union and not an element of the intersection okay let us gonna check all these elements one two three four five six one two three four five six and let us define first a union b what are the elements that are in a union b so if you're going to unite this one two three four so five six so the a union b is simply one two three four five six what is a intersection b it's three four okay so you have the intersection or the common three four now let us gonna um see this table since and um kanus aganito mo true ang and okay very good when all the proposition is true or these two proposition is true therefore our result is true okay for one now as you can see here all elements one two three four five six are in are in the union set so we have true all of these are true because all elements are found in our union when you unite a and b how about this three four okay this is false and the rest is true why is that because the elements three four this three four is an element of the intersection now we are looking for not an element so meaning since 3 4 is an element therefore this is false 3 4 is false because the proposition is x is not an element of the intersection Did you get the point again let me paraphrase now 3 4 is an element of the intersection so it becomes false because we're looking for not an element so one two five six is not an element of the intersection therefore it's true now let's combine it so this is true true false false true true so our answer is one two five six so we have one two five six so that is the explanation under the um under the definition okay let's have our second example some example okay seen that an example okay so let's have the universal set as a b c d E, F. And we have A, set A as A, B, C. Uh, set B as um, C, D, E. Let's put another one, set C, E, F. Okay. What is the symmetric difference of A and B? So we're going to find the not common. So C here will be cancelled so what is left is a b d e very good how about the symmetric difference of b and c so we will cancel e because it's common what is left is c d f very good now how about a symmetric difference of c so this what is our answer here we have a and c okay there is no common so there's no cancellation here or emission so we have a b c 
E, F. Very good. So, this is correct. So, that is our second example. Did you get the idea already? That when you have symmetric difference, the answer is the elements that are not common. That are not common or not in the intersection of both elements or both sets. Now, let's have our third example. Okay, so we have our third example. Okay, so if am I an M? If our universal set is X such that X is a real number and our A is X such that X is a rational number, B, set B, X such that X is a terminating decimal. I hope you still remember this. And C is um, X such that X is a natural, natural integer. And D, let's have another set. D, X such that X is a whole number. Okay, whole number. Okay. Now, let's try to solve what is the symmetric difference of A and B. Rational number and terminating decimal. What do you think? I will give you three counts. The answer is null set. It's null set because Terminating decimal is a subset of a rational. So, so if we will draw it, if our A, so this is rational number, and it's a subset of, so this is our B, the terminating decimal. So, all elements in B are in A. So, all of it are cancelled. So, it's, it's null set. In fact, rational numbers is subdivided into two. The terminating, so that's why it's a subset. The non-terminating, the non-terminating, uh, repeating decimals. Okay. So, the answer for this is null. Next is, what is the symmetric difference of C and D? So, we have natural integers and whole number. Um, what are natural integers? 1, 2, 3, and so on. What are whole numbers? It starts with 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Therefore, our answer is, very good, zero, because all of this one, two, three, and so on are cancelled because it's common, it's under the intersection, and what is left is zero. Okay, so that is our third example. So, this is the third example, and we have the second example, the, in, the explanation we have the Venn diagram and the definition of the symmetric difference. So, that is all under symmetric difference. Uh, feel free to ask questions. And let's have our next topic.